Hello YouTubers. Okay, since I've now had a full 24 hours to try out my new iPad, I figured I was going to make a video to tell you about things that you ought to know before you buy one. One thing you should know is that it's very slippery. Carrying it underneath your arm may not be a good idea. It could just slip right out and maybe fall. I found that carrying it like this is kind of an easy way to do it. I carry it like that. Or maybe just carrying it like this under your arm. However you do it, just realize that the iPad is very slippery. So be careful. Number two, reading books on the iPad is very tiring to your wrist. This thing weighs a pound and a half. I read that the Kindle is a lot lighter, so it's a lot easier to read books on it. This one you might want to prop up on your knee or something or on a pillow while you're reading it. And the front of this thing is very, very shiny. So make sure you don't have any like, bright lights behind you. Reading it out in the sunlight is going to be a real problem. It has a lot of glare, so just keep that in mind before you buy it. A lot of the new apps that you can buy for the iPad, I think were rushed out in anticipation of the release of the iPad. So many of them crashed, at least the ones that I downloaded. So maybe all the kinks haven't been worked out yet. Whatever the case, I'm going to wait a few weeks before I buy any more because they're kind of expensive. And maybe in a few weeks, the app developers or Apple itself will catch up with all the bugs. One of the applications I really like is iBooks. You can actually download that for free if you buy the iPad. It comes with one free book, but then you have to buy the rest. As you can see, I'm currently reading It by Stephen King. And what I like about it is that the pages really have a realistic feel to them when you turn them. I saw a lot of the user reviews on iTunes about the, the free Wall Street Journal application, saying that they expect you to pay $3.99 for it. But actually, you only have to pay $3.99 if you're going to read back issues. If you want to read the current one, the one that's current right now, that's always free. And it has a lot of really good content. If you want a really good news application that's free all around, USA Today is a really good one. It's very sleek, great colors, and all the content is free. And if you want to go to different sections of the newspaper, just click on the icon. And you can choose which ones you want to go to. To get back to where you were before, click the icon again, and it goes back to the front page. Like I was saying before, a lot of the applications you already have for the iPod Touch or the iPhone will work just as well on your iPad. So you may not have to upgrade or buy a more expensive application. For example, I love Skee-Ball. Skee-Ball works pretty well on the iPad. There's a tiny bit of pixelation, but not enough to really matter to me. And if you play the ukulele like I do, then you'll find that the Uke Chords application for the iPhone works just as well on the iPad. One game I really enjoy on the iPhone is Pocket God. And I really thought about upgrading once they come out with an iPad version. But once I played Pocket God on my iPad, I realized it wasn't really necessary. The graphics still look really good, the sound is really great, so even if they come out with one for the iPad, unless it has something, you know, majorly new and better, I'm not going to switch. Another application for the iPad that you can download for free is the ABC Player. This is one I highly recommend. It really looks good on the iPad and you can watch TV shows for free, episodes of ABC shows. So just click on all shows and for example, let's check out The View. All the episodes come there, click on the one you want to see. And except for a commercial or two that you have to be forced to watch, it really has a very good look. So, yeah. And 
I think it's HD neat to actually switch looks and really kind of well. gain an appreciation for what the other person does. Right. Because we definitely so, didn't have So, I highly recommend yet, that so. one. Are you buying any new applications? Try not to see if they'll work on your iPad. iPad is really kind of heavy. So don't strain your wrist trying to read. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Are you still here? Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>